A lot of you must have probably seen the Sunday Young Post. That's day before yesterday. The whole page is covered with the word love. I think it must have been almost a thousand times that the word has been printed there and in the middle of it is a big heart within which there is some kind of advice for young people about romance and love. So this is what love is all about. It is the very heart of all existence. It is the very 
fulfillment of life. In fact, love is the glue that binds all existence together. Yet, when we look into our own lives today, we find that relationships are becoming more and more stressful and more and more short-lived. Why is that so? When love is a binding force and we all talk about love, this word love is all pervading in the universe. <laughs> and yet, there is so much of stress in this world. <clears throat> there is an answer for that. We all talk about love. We all claim to love. And we all crave for love. But we do not know what love is. In fact, the truth is that we have never ever loved anyone in this world and no one has ever loved you in this world. I know what you are all thinking. That's absolute nonsense. I don't accept that at all. How can you make a statement like that? What do you know? That's what a lot of people sitting over here are thinking. Well, this lecture is going to be a very shattering lecture, mind you. We are talking about love, but it's going to shatter a lot of our dreams. And it's not for the worse, mind you, it's going to be for the better. Because still today, we talk about falling in love and through these two lectures we are going to stand at a point where we are all going to rise in love. But before that we need to be shattered and we need to open our eyes. So I want all of you to listen not with any preconceived notions with an open mind. You don't have to accept what I am saying saying as gospel truth. Listen to it. Analyze it. Put it into your practical life and watch the experiences that we go through day to day. So when I said that nobody has loved anyone, you might say, do you know, I love my wife with all my heart. I really, really love my husband. And can you ever imagine how much I love my only son, my only daughter? I really love my friends. I love my dog. I love my horse. I love my cat. I love my house. I love my car. I love my country. And we all love money. That's one common love everybody has today in the world. And so we have so many loves. How can you say that we've never loved? We have loved. But we have loved only one. Only one. Not that big list we've been going through. We have loved only one. And you know who that is? Ourselves. Let us listen to what a very, very great saint said centuries back. We have this mantra, very powerful mantra in the most ancient book of scriptures. Do you know which are the most ancient books in the library of mankind?